What are your night shift horror stories? It was 3 a.m. Popular Canadian coffee shop. There is one old baker in the back that rarely interacts with me past a dirty joke or a dirtier ditty from his navy days. Other than that I'm alone. Not another soul around the area and I expect it to remain so for at least an hour yet. I'm boxing up the day olds for the homeless shelter when I swear I see something out of the corner of my eye. It's behind me. I turn, then look down. There's a small child standing there. A native little toddler with a faux hawk staring at me intensely. I'm struck dumb with how absurd the situation is. How did he get behind the counter? I didn't hear the door open or see him come through the counter. I scan the storefront. No one. I yell for the baker in case he has a friend or something visiting that lost their kid. He comes over, and like me, does a double take at the kid and is baffled. Kid starts muttering incoherently. I get him a glass of water and a donut hole and the baker runs out of the store to do a perimeter of the block. I call the non-emergency line and explain I have a little kid with no parents. I can't get any information from the boy, just mumbles I can't make out. Police arrive. Baker comes back says that he can't find anyone else in the streets. The guy from the 24-7 corner store said he'll keep an eye out. Police try to speak to the kid and also get nothing but mutterings and half-hearted gestures. They take him away. I see them again for their morning coffee and they told me the little guy walked several kilometers from the nearest reservation in the dead of night to my store. He had got into his parents' medicine cabinet and just, walked out of the house. I'm floored. It must have taken that poor baby hours to get to me. Seeing him behind me like that in the dead of the night still shakes me. Spooked me more than the guy that threw a pot of coffee at me, the woman that tried to stab me with a plastic spoon because I refused to give her a metal one, and the dude that waited around for four hours hoping to catch me alone so he could teach me a lesson since I didn't have the flavor of bagel he wanted.